All right, so set up RTX voice. Not too complicated, not too hard. I, like I said, I've done it on my stream PC already. So I'm going to go ahead and walk through on my gaming PC and give everybody a walkthrough on how to do it. It's quite simple. And even if you don't have a RTX card, I'm going to walk through how to do that because neither one of my cards are RTX. I have a 1080 Ti and then a 1660 Super, which sadly that wasn't supported either natively. Now it is in beta, so there is a little bit of quirks and with some of the fixes that people have come out with and like I'm going to show you on the GeForce cards, it might be fixed in a later version or they might find a way where to completely omit it. I'm not sure. We'll, we'll figure that out. So first thing you want to do, start up your browser. You can search RTX Voice. Take, NVIDIA has it right on their page. Click on NVIDIA RTX Voice Setup Guide. Takes you right to NVIDIA's page. It tells you everything about it. What it does is it literally uses computer AI learning to learn your voice and capture it out of everything and everything else that's going on. So you don't have to worry about doing all the OBS settings and all the expensive money like money I've spent on all this stuff for audio to get rid of background noise all this is fixed by doing this it's crazy so like I said it has to be an NVIDIA card it only works for NVIDIA graphics cards but what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to that you're gonna search that in Google and gonna go down and you're gonna see get the app download the app you're gonna download the app 328 megabytes and it's a driver it literally installs like a driver on your card what's up chat go ahead and start it and let it run now you're gonna encounter the non RTX portion of this because I don't have RTX card so I'm going to walk through it so if you have an RTX card this is going to work for you completely but you're going to want to at least run this installer like I just did application is not supported on your existing GPU close didn't pass the check now this is what you're going to do you got the file already tried to install it it created temp folders that's what we wanted to do so now you're going to open your task manager however you do it and shout out to Barnacles for putting this out there that's where I had found this so we'll give him a shout out you're going to run a new task in your task manager you're going to type notepad because that's the program we're going to run. We're going to create this task with administrative privileges. Make sure you click this box. Okay. Now you got Notepad open. Close that out. Now you're going to go in and you're going to find that temporary folder. So it's usually on the C drive. Temp. NVIDIA and then you got NVRTX voice you're going to click the NVRTX voice alright now there's going to be a f file in here yeah there it is so you're going to go NVAFX for your next folder and then find the RTX voice dot NVI folder. We're going to open that in Notepad. So it's local disks, temps, NVRTX voice, NVAFX folder, and inside there is the RTX voice. So we'll go to our Notepad here. We're going to go File, Open. We're going to find that temp file. 
C drive, temp, RTX voice, NVAFX. Going to go down here where it says text documents. Open all files. That's where it's hidden. What up, MTM? What's up, Cobra? <laughs> what up, guys? So once you go down here where the file name is and you click all files, that NVI file will show up. You're going to open that inside your notepad and you're going to get all this so what you're going to do is you're going to go in here and find where it says let me find it here constraints so you're gonna see where it says dependencies and then constraints you're gonna highlight from constraints this down to constraints that's it from constraints to constraints highlight it delete it go to file and now save it. Now this is where I told you earlier where you had to click that checkbox. If you don't click that checkbox, this won't work. So you save it. Now it's saved. Now what I'm going to do is don't run the original setup program here. You don't want to do that. You want to go back in to that temp file. C drive. Temp. RTX voice and run this setup. This is where everyone runs into a bunch of problems. So now we're gonna run this setup. Now, it passes. Agree and continue. And there you go. On a GTX card, I have RTX voice. Now, how to use this? Pretty simple. We're just gonna make sure it's the default audio. So my input device, you're going to put your microphone, whatever microphone that you talk to people here is where you're going to put it, which is my Yeti. And then the output device is going to be whatever you use for your output, which I'm not going to use RTX voice for my output. But what this is very useful for is what I think this does is it automatically recognizes what's being outputted from your game and automatically filters that out from your microphone. So any gameplay, back feed, anything, gets instantly taken out because you give it the right to do the output. Now on my streaming PC, I have it set up differently, but this is my gaming PC, so I really don't need to activate that, so it's not a big issue. But I'm gonna go ahead and put it on, what I use anyways, and it's my LG TV. Now, it's already installed and working and running. The only thing you got to do is once I click this, it goes away. And this is what I want to show you guys about. All right, ready? So now, with that installed and turned on, I'm going to come up here to my stream PC. Oh, wait a minute here first. I want to do this. I want to make sure I show you guys this right. Go down to your speaker icon, open the set in sound settings, and make sure it's set to RTX, NVIDIA RTX voice, and the input is set to RTX voice, which it should automatically if you pick your default microphone. I just wanted to make sure I go over that before I do anything. But to give you guys a demonstration, let me start RTX voice on here. This is crazy, guys. This is creepy. Like, this is, like, literally creepy. All right, so you guys hear this. Watch this. I'm going to activate this. Now it's on. Still can't really tell much of a difference in my voice, I bet. Nothing at all. Nothing at all. But now... This is what I mean. Now, this graphics card is going to learn my voice as I talk. And I don't even know if you even heard that, but it's going to learn. 
and it's going to filter out anything else besides that. Now watch this. Now I'm literally clapping right in the mic. Now if I'm back here, it still picks me up good. That's weird. What's really weird is it sometimes it is able to take the clap out while I'm talking, but it might mess my voice up a little bit. That's crazy. That's without any extra audio devices and everything that all the money that I've spent and time to go through filters and all that gone. Look how clear and crisp it cleans up all the audio. Nuts. That is crazy. But yeah, that is exactly how you set up RTX voice. And like I said, for you users that have RTX cards, you literally just got to install it and then turn it on and you can play with it. That was at a hundred or 80% suppression. I could probably turn it down even lower, but it's great for people who use arcade sticks and you hear their damn video or their, their button presses. And I might be able to get rid of my headset. Put a, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like put a game through. Yeah. Most of oh, I'm going to, but I might be able to take my headset off, talk to you guys, and none of the game throughout my theater being picked up through my microphone because it learned my voice. It right off the bat, it'll pick it up, you know, it'll get that first, and then it'll it gets rid of it. It's crazy. So, yeah, I wanted to take the time and show you guys. How to do that if you guys have any questions or any comments or whatever go ahead and ask below i hope this works out for a lot of people because i think it's an amazing thing that nvidia has done but yep thanks guys so uh once you have the rtx voice set up i'll go ahead and kick it. you're gonna see a bunch of mirrored effect here Blah. anyways once you get the rtx voice set up you're gonna go over here to click to your audio you can do whatever I right click it, go to properties, and make sure you set your device to the new RTX voice. See, microphone NVIDIA RTX voice. And that's how you use it set up in OBS. That's all you got to do. And then you can enjoy all the great things that people have spent thousands of dollars over the last years to try to figure out. Just like that. Much love.